Well, good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Great. Thank you. We are at the end of the church year. It's hard to believe on Christ the King Sunday that we actually end the church year. Next Sunday we begin Advent. It's hard to believe. And just a reminder, on December 1st, on the Wednesdays, the four Wednesdays in December, we will have Advent services at 7 o'clock. Um, here at the church, they'll also be on Facebook. But um, Seth Bishop will be cantering. We're going to do the Holden Village uh, liturgy that we tried to do a couple of years ago, but I can't canter it by myself. So Seth is going to be here to be the canter for it. So I'm really excited about that. Today at the church, if anyone, people can stay, they'd be greatly appreciated as we try to get decorations, get the Christmas tree up and those kind of things and get things done and get ready. Uh, we have plenty of hot dogs and chips downstairs. The hot dogs are getting warm, so please stay and have hot dogs, either that or um, David and Jeff and Ron will be eating hot dogs, I have a feeling, for the next week or more. So. Um, I'm trying to get rid of them, David. <laughs> but um, I, I want to thank you all for last week and when I was gone. Um, I had a great time in Phoenix, uh, except for my cold. That was kind of a bummer, but um, I had the privilege of marrying some friends, and that was exciting to be able to do. So thank you for allowing my, me to take my day off to go do that. Uh, just a reminder, tonight at 7.30 is the Axel Community Thanksgiving service at the Methodist Church in Axel. So you all are invited to come. The offering will go to the food pantries to be divided um, after that service. So please know that we will be gathering this evening for that as well. So I think those are the announcements for the week. I hope you all have a blessed Thanksgiving and an awesome um, time with family and gathering to eat way too much food because I know we all will and so um, please be safe in traveling for those who are traveling as well. Let us begin with our confession. Please stand. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God to whom all hearts are open and all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have loved undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for us, and for his sake forgives us all our sins. As a call to our gain servant of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will sing hymn number 518, Beautiful Savior.
Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. majesty, the Lord is robed in majesty, 
and armed with strength and deed, the world is established, firm and secure. Your throne is established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up. Lord, the seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up the pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your statues, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days. The second lesson is taken from the first chapter of Revelations. John, to the seven churches in the province of Asia, grace and peace to you from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before the throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds, and ever I will see him, even those who pierced him. And all people on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. Here ended the second lesson. <laughs> Jesus, uh, you're kind of a powerful dude. 
that, uh, what's up? And Jesus turns it around and says, well, Pilate, you're the one who's saying I'm a Jew. Are you a Jew? See, Jesus is really putting Pilate on trial instead of Pilate has trying to put Jesus on trial. There's a flipping in what's happening if we look at the words really clearly. And if we stop and back up and say, wait a minute, who's really on trial here? Whose faith is being questioned? Who is the judge and the ruler of all? Hmm. Well, Jesus, we know, is Christ the King, the one who came for you and me. He comes not out of love, not out of a dictatorship that said, this is how we have to do it. See, the kings of old would have said, and Pilate was just as guilty, that this is how we have to do it. You have to follow my rules in my way. And if not, you could be in big trouble. Jesus says, I want you to follow me. But I want you to follow me because you have watched me love the other that you have watched me serve the other, to be a witness, to be me with hands and feet in other spaces and places. Thursday, I have to tell you, I was exhausted when I got, got through Thursday. I'd been at the pantry. Oh, we've been averaging Oh, six to eight families, maybe. We had 24 families come on Thursday. I had never seen the freezers and the shelves as empty. They weren't empty, but what we had out was gone. It was an enormous amount of food that we put out, and we asked the question, They're struggling. Price of gas, price of what's being paid at the store for all the other goods and items. People are now becoming desperate. 24 families came to us. A lot of them were singles, but we had a family of nine, a family of six. When I got home, oh, wait a minute, the Thursday, then I had two more meetings after I left the pantry. And I hurt. And the next morning when I put a picture on Facebook, I said, I'm sore and I'm tired, but God is good because the sunrise was so amazing. But I knew God had charged us to do something amazing. Yeah, I hurt. My niece were saying, hey, being back, we probably should have taken some arthritis meds. You might have wanted to wear some different shoes. You might have wanted to be a little more prepared, which I wasn't. I thought we were going to have more volunteers. We had two volunteers to help us that day. But the beauty of what I saw Thursday was one of our clients said, as she was watching me, kind of, I, I must have had that look of, I am so confused now, I don't even know who's next. And she stepped up and she said, Pastor Cindy, this is a client. Let me do the shopping and help people. Let me be of service. And of course I said, you betcha, here's the list. And she was shopping with our people. One who we served was helping another. God's love 
is what we are to share. And when we share it, we will be it will be shared with the other. Do I think we made a difference? Oh yeah, I know we did. What do I think it did for our client who actually volunteered? It empowered her. She feels bad enough she has to come get food. And now she got to be a servant. Isn't that what God wants? Isn't that what this God is all about? Christ the King is about being not a dictatorship, but that we love and serve the other. We help those who need help. We are to be the servant of. See, I think the important part, I'm just going to read this, of declaring Christ as king is not, is not our understanding of Jesus' lordship, who he is, and what he does. But, the important part about saying that Christ the king is our king, is that our life with each other under that lordship, that I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you have love for the other. See, it's not about understanding, maybe, power and authority. There's big words that we can put out there. There's big theological terms which we can go into. And I always want to revert back to four-letter words. Love, joy, peace. Oh, wait, but some of those are three or five. But that's what God's love is all about. Christ our King is about sharing the love and the joy and the peace with the other. It's not about authoritarian of that word, uh, authoritarianism. Is that a word? Did I say it right? Kind of? Okay. See, I don't want to say those big words. I want to say that this is Jesus, Christ the King, Sunday is about loving and serving. It's about being willing to serve 24 families who are in need. Oh, do I think Tuesday is going to be any less? Oh, no. I have a feeling Tuesday we're going to see just as many. People don't have. But they also need to know about God's love. And that's what we share in what every ministry we do. In fact, it's not about our ministry. It's about how do we do business? How do we share God's love in our families? As we travel this week, what I want to know is that the people around me have food and shelter and are loved. That's the important thing. It's not about the stuff so much. It's not about how much food is on the table. But it's about sharing God's love. Pure and simple. That if Christ is our King, we are to be the hands and feet sharing the story of love with the rest of the world. No matter how we do that, how do we reach out? How do we share it? You and I are the hands and feet of the one who comes. Amen. We will sing hymn number 526. Immortal, invisible, God only wise.
mercy and creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate in the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for forgiveness of sins, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With the people of God gathered here and throughout the world, we offer our prayers to the church, the world, and all people in need. O oh Lord, O oh God of all, continue to guide, direct, lead, and inspire all leaders to serve in a way pleasing to you. Lord, in your mercy. Heavenly Father, we ask for you to give guidance to all who serve. Be with all to give this day a holy and blessed meeting. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Lord of peace, let all members of this community continue to hear your name in all ways. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. And God, we lift up all those who struggle with health, with Stan and Debbie, Peggy, Donna, Jennifer, Inez, and all others we lift up in our hearts and our minds that we know this day are struggling with coronavirus and with all other illnesses. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. And God, you are a God of grace and mercy, a God of love and compassion, God who says, go, be my hands and feet, and so I'll let each of us this day be that your servant, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We will continue with receiving our offering.
secure in the redemption of all that you have made. For the sake of him who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you.
You have each received the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are a child of God. He is our King and Lord of all. Go and serve. Amen.
God will be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.